I feel like I'm home. Y'all heard that siren? <laughs> guys welcome back to another vlog and if you're new here my name's kiana and if you're returning thank you for coming back again we're in miami south beach to be exact um i'm sorry i'm all over the place because my day was all over the place this afternoon i've actually been up since 4 a.m this morning because i was packing and then i also felt really sick and i threw up but i'm here and i'm alive and i'm well what what, the, what was I just doing? I could have sworn this was open. Um, yeah, guys. I'm really at a Bay Hotel. And I'm trying to give you guys, like, a quick little rundown. A quick little view of what I got going on. I'm saying a Bay. It might be a buy, but hold on one second. Okay. Uh. Oh, it's cold as f it is brick. The same balcony that goes to the bedroom. I strongly believe. Okay, I had to make sure that's closed. Yeah, they just text me like, hey, your reservation is an hour. I'm like, I thought I had time to take a nap. Good thing I didn't take a nap. I do not know. I got it installed probably about last week. Yes. I'm gonna do that and let me see how far the rest of one is. So I don't know what time I gotta get dressed. Going to Naked Taco. When I say we, I mean us. Me and you that's watching the vlog. Cause I'm out here by myself. By myself. For both trips the second trip i won't be out here by myself and i'll be um up north miami at time seven minutes away oh i'm just sitting here just reviewing my vlog that is most likely gonna drop before you guys even see this vlog just to make sure everything makes sense to me um so guys a week and I'm excited, but I'm just gonna make my vacation probably into one vlog or so. Depending on how much activities I get into. I spent all last night editing this vlog. That's when you guys and trying to pack at the same time. I'll me doing like body sculpting, skin cavitation, skin tightening, and then going to like a candle making class and then just going to like regular beauty mains. Regular beauty maintenance to just do my lashes and get my lashes done you know i bring you guys with me along to my appointment i want to talk about the process of blogging and how i vlog so far i might have my own style of editing but i feel like it's just so early on for me to say like i truly don't know well i know what i'm doing but it's too early to like put a label on it because i'm still learning as I go I'm still exploring as I go so like how everything is coming along and like how my vlog journey is going and stuff just like getting into how I would edit and learning my style of things so I like this it's like you know own creative project not the camera cutting off while I'm talking I don't really have no cute outfit for tonight because I just wanted to like spend the night inside and actually sleep my stomach needs to reset i don't even know if i should be putting tacos on this stomach this of this camera was for me to get better angles of myself and here i am looking crazy i might as well just unpack in the meantime you start talking too long and this camera cuts you off I get it. 
I was chatting too much. Come on, let's go. Let's go do my eyebrows. Let's go get me presentable. Just because you barf today, don't mean you gotta look like you barf today. Let's, let's go get me together. I should be doing this in the bathroom. Okay. Why all of a sudden the camera too hot? Yeah, I'm just I'm gonna be out here bare because I need a moment to heal. Like I had gave my hair a break from sewings because I think at my last sewing was November. And I just got it back the first day of March. <laughs> yeah, so I'm just gonna only touch my eyebrows up. I hate overhead lights. I like when the light reflect back at you. I hate when the light is over top of your head, shining. Like, that's always a hotel vibe. Like, the light never, yeah, it should just come straight down. I don't like that. I want you to shine at me, bro. I want to go eat. Let's go get you some food, cause you be acting real unusual when you're hungry. Like, I don't know about y'all, but I start being strange when I'm hungry. This is a quick outfit, nothing can go wrong. Go grab your food, and dine at your little spot, get right back to the hotel. Alright, come on. The fact that it's raining outside is just crazy. Yo, every is like mad cold and every place has on the air blowing. Like what the hell? I'm about to go to bed. Cause I've been up since 4 a.m. Come on. Is this the right place? Why the hell isn't my key working? And whose Wi Fi was I signed into? What the? F nah, boy. Nah. I don't know what's going on. Uh-uh. My key is not working. It don't make sense. And I need to rest. If it's not... <laughs> <laughs> what the... Nah. If it stops raining, then I'll chill on the balcony. But let me get this video ready to upload because I finally found the Wi-Fi password. And it's time for me to chill out. I mean, I might vlog later. You guys could chill out with me. But I'll talk to you guys in a few because I'm not going out for the rest of the night. Hi, good morning, guys. I'm awake. And what time is it? It is 10 24 a.m. Tuesday, March 15th. And I'm ashy because I got out the shower at like. 15 minutes ago and I didn't put lotion on because I was trying to schedule this vlog, the next vlog for you guys and I had um, 35 minutes to pack my clothes, get up out of here, head to the next location then after that I have brunch 
Um, I think my hair puffed up in the shower, or was it last night? I don't know. To be honest with you guys, I do not want to flat iron it because it's going to be raining all day today. So, it is what it is. I need to get a facial moisturizer because I need to go. And I've been trying to use the dryer to dry a piece of clothing and it's been in the dryer for like since mm, 8.50 a.m. It is 10 something. Why is it still in the dryer? I don't know. But this is not going to stress me out. Cleanse my face. I'm going to use this Mario Badescu Gentle Foaming Cleanser. I actually did like a review haul on this. They sent me this, a part of the, because that's, I spent X, Y, and Z, so they added like a, some extra goodies into the package for me. It's like an exfoliate, like a body exfoliator. I forgot what it's called. I've been using it all my life. Like I've had one more than 10 times in my life. That little fluffy thing, and it has like the Goshi towel material, and it's like in a ball. Good thing I bought mine. Not like a ball ball, like like a little puff, and you get to scrub your body with it. I need to call downstairs and tell them that I need a few more moments. Because I don't understand why the clothes isn't finished drying yet. Yeah, so I'm just going to put like some Aveeno on my face because I don't understand... My skin is acting very unusual out here. Like my skin is peeling. Probably because I'm on like the beach itself. It's very, but the funny thing is it's not even humid out here. It's like breezy and raining. But, let's see if this does the trick. It's OD hot now and my edges is puffing up. <laughs> I'm thinking it's not gonna be humid. Bro, it's different outside. Like, the sun is out. I gotta hurry up, cause I gotta leave. And my stuff isn't packed up. And I've been up since 7 a.m. I should've handled that. But that's my fault. Wait, let me check out what I got on before. All right, so I'm not wearing these um, slides, of course. I'm going to put on my gold and gold sneakers. There's a ginger ale in the back, and the bed is not made. Um, I had to throw on these little black shorts under the dress because I'm on my cycle, and my body isn't feeling right. I even put on a bra. Like, I don't wear bras. Like, that's how you know I'm out of it. Like, but, I mean, for the most part, can't nobody say nothing. They can't, they can see the undergarments. They can't be like, she's naked. I mean, the body look, it's cute. Okay. So, I'm all packed and ready to go. Even though I know they're gonna take all the sheets off and replace it, I'm still making the bed up. Because... My grandma would be livid if I didn't. Yeah. This is who we're gonna be today. This is cute because I'm gonna go to brunch. I'm gonna eat um eat at the swan today for brunch. And we're gonna do a little cute little bag. I'm actually gonna see if I can stop by Chanel today and ask them for a chain holder. Cause I heard that you can get a chain holder to change the like length. This isn't the bag that I wanted to wear today. I have this cute, tiny white Jimmy Choo bag that I actually wanted to wear, but I don't know. Like I gotta do brunch and then I need to run to Sephora and pick up some makeup brushes. So my makeup could be done for tonight. This would be so cute. This is kind of cute like the white bag would have been so much cute and pretty but i'm gonna be honest with you it don't hold nothing at least this bag could definitely hold a few things in it but it's still gonna be a good day today clean up. my grandma virgo so i'm not allowed to do what everybody else could do i gotta 
I gotta, I gotta have everything in order. My grandma's a Virgo. So let me, let me clean while the um, clothes is still being finished. Edges is really puffy. This vlog is gonna be so interesting to edit. Cause I'm taking footage off my phone and my camera. So I'm outside, I finally made it out. And I'm just waiting on an Uber. Okay, so I'm about to try because I'm gonna need a dinner fit for Saturday. Perfect. Wow, you know what's crazy? Cause if I'm not mistaken, South Beach is that way and the freaking, there's no rain down there. But look, look at the storm clouds. Like, it's nothing but sunny weather out there. Got me thinking like maybe I should change my dinner, dinner reservation from this one spot out here, I don't even know how to pronounce it. I guess it's called Nova, Novi Cove, Nova Cove. <laughs> oh, I feel like I'm home. Y'all heard that siren? <laughs> what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys like what I purchased. I'm gonna go bathe first cause it's been humid and very sticky outside all day. My edges is puffy. I'm gonna wrap my hair, bathe. And then we could do like a Zara haul try on situation. So I bought these one pair. I'm gonna tell y'all this. I'll show y'all details. I bought these pair of pants and I was in the fitting room trying them on. I pulled them up and ripped the loop on the jean. It's not my usual size, like a two or a four, but they're like jegging. They're stretchy jeans. But I'm gonna see y'all in a second. <laughs> Nah, but I'm gonna see you guys in a second because I'm gonna go bathe. I feel very sticky and SpongeBob is going. I wanna watch SpongeBob. <laughs> okay, so what I'm thinking about doing is well, I'm all showered and stuff and moisturized. I need to. I don't have eyebrows, but it seemed like the hair grow everywhere, but where it's supposed to grow, like it's supposed to be. There's a gnat in here. The hair is supposed. The hair is supposed to grow here. First of all, take it out. Where's the remote control? This is. As I was trying to say before being interrupted by a gnat in the loud TV was I'm all showered up and I'm ready, moisturized. Yeah, eyebrow situation. Eyebrow hair will grow here, 
here, <laughs> here, here, but it will not grow here. Don't know why. But I'm going to get ready to do a little haul with you guys of the pieces that I was running through the mall grabbing at Zara when I should not have been buying clothes because I already don't have room in my carry-on. My eyelashes look crazy. I don't know where the thing is. Yeah, it's just this lash only. This lash look pretty and organized. Yeah, so I'm gonna get ready to do like a whole. All right, let's go. I'm be thinking I'm recording and I wasn't recording. So I have this white crop top that I pulled that got from Zara. solid white. I picked it up and grabbed my eye, you know. So this is it. And I got it like a size. I feel like the pieces that they have out here definitely go according to their weather. Like, this is our guy that are pieces out here because I was in the one in New York and I was like, ew, I don't, I don't know what this is. Hold on, I'm going to show you the jeans that I got on. They're like a light wash with like a goldish brown stitching. And I got these in like a size two. Skinny. They're kind of, they're not tight. They're very fitted. And they go all the way down to the ankle. I like these. I, I picked these up because the material felt thick. I hate thin cheap jeans like i hate jeans that feel like leggings these didn't give me jegging vibes these gave me jean vibes the reason why i hate jeggings is because i'm not going for a jegging look and plus it'd be cold in new york so you need you some solid jeans i'm gonna show you guys this top that i got from there so i got the white one and i got this one as well i don't know i don't do I don't do patterns or shapes or any forms. Like, I'm a plain person. I'm very plain when it comes to clothes. I'm not too big on textures either. And this is like a knitted top. But for some reason, I just like how it's like kind of off-white. And I don't know, it's like really dark. It's not black, but it's like an off-white cream and navy blue stripes. So I like this look. But I don't know what I would wear with. But I'm just gonna. Hmm. Oh, my elbows weren't ashy. Yeah, so the white one is knitted and this one is knitted as well. Yeah, so I still have on the same jeans. I had on the white knitted crop top, short sleeve. Three tops, three bottoms. Yeah, the wind keeps pushing the door. I keep thinking it's somebody trying to run up on me, but. That's just me and my thoughts. Okay, next piece. I'm gonna show you guys the pieces. So I'm just throwing them on quickly. Just so we get through them. Like this isn't actually how we like style or wear it, but I bought this cute bralette. Hold on, I'm not even tall enough. What do I do? It's like I'm not tall enough to show you how to talk, but my face is in the camera as well. So this is probably something else that I would take to the tailor to get resized. I think it's very cute. And I'm going to wear it when I come back. Hold on, I can't fix the strings, but... Yo, just to update y'all on the laser, the life after laser journey. But... Should be an extra small, to be honest, because I don't got enough titty meat for it. So this next piece I'm about to show y'all, I'm actually shocked that I bought this because it's a squirt. I'm not four years old or six or ten, 
but this is a score and I cannot deny like I cannot walk away from it but if it gets to a point where like it being a score is really gonna stress me out I will take it to the tailor and get them to cut you know just cut the shorts out and turn it into a full-on skirt but I like the way that this was cut so Tiny bit moves from the waist. Look at the way it's cut. I'm sorry. This, I like skirts. I love me a good skirt. This got me. But, I mean, the short under it isn't bad. Yes, it's a score. I, I, you know what? I don't, I don't know how to justify how I felt while I bought it. Let me just stop talking and I'm gonna show y'all why I bought it. Like, I only bought it because I knew that I could I could do something with it. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I only bought it because I knew I could do something with it and I'm gonna stop talking and I'll make it happen. Yeah, so the next item I bought is actually another pair of jeans. I'm not trying them on, but they stretch and I popped them, trying to put them on. This just goes to show, and though I lost weight and I felt like my booty was getting small, my booty big to somebody else, so I can't be mad at that. My booty is definitely big to somebody else. and So, I bought these because one, they stretch. Two, I was able to get into them. And three, they are a light, light, light wash denim. And the stitching is white. So, now I got me some blue blue jeans and look at the ends of the pants I think that's really cute sorry I never did a nail vlog I never I never updated y'all on my nails I got one hand is lilac purple and the other hand is baby white pink just cute um but anyways hold on. I'm just gonna show you guys the pants because I'm not trying them on wore Zara jeans before the pum pum shorts from them and they seem pretty alright hold on let me just yeah so we got 30 minutes left and I still gotta talk to you guys while I do my makeup and I still gotta talk to you guys tonight Maybe we could do 15 and 15. I don't even think I packed the other memory card with me. No. But I'm gonna talk to you guys in a minute because I'm gonna get ready to do my makeup. I need edges. Yeah. Because I got dinner reservation tonight at 8 p.m. I don't know what time it is. It should be almost like 6 o'clock. To you guys and if you okay. Thank you for following along with me and watching me. Let me hit my tool and watching me try on just some basic items that I wanted to pick up from Zara. Like, I'm such a state, like, I like statement pieces a lot to the point where I don't have everyday clothes, and that's not good. Why? Because I can't wear a green hoodie and a cowgirl skirt to the movies. Yeah, you can, but. Can I have some regular clothes too? Like sometimes I forget. I, sometimes I forget to buy like everyday clothes. Like I always have statement pieces. Like I don't want it if it doesn't give a wow, like a wow factor. If that's a word, a wow factor, like a shock. Like I like my piece. Like every when I shop, I shop based off of what grabs my attention. Like me and the piece gotta connect. We gotta be one with the item. So I'm very big on that. And I'm not the kind of person where I'm buy something where one time and throw it away. I'm not doing that. I'm not into trends. If I like something, it's here to stay. I'm talking 20 years down the line, possibly me being able to pass down clothes to my nieces. Daughters, if I have daughters, you know, God swing me a uh, Kiana Jr. That would be perfect. But I'm very picky about how I buy clothes, so... Learning that you gotta have your everyday pieces, you gotta have your store run clothes, you gotta have your cocktail party wear, you gotta have your business casual, you need to have your lounge wear, your beach wear, 
vacation wear like there's some things you can wear in new york that you wouldn't wear on an island like just learning how to have a wide variety and range in your closet because i'm such a person where i dress for me and me only so i'm learning to get just a little flexible now i'm not saying like <sighs> damn what else was i saying think of i just prop I just prepped my skin with the Mario Badescu free moisturizer and then I went over it with that um what is that primer by Milk Cold the grip the grip primer yes and for skin I'm doing a skin tint Glossier G5 let me see oh my hand is covered in it yes so the um I can't even show you guys the grip primer because I emptied some out in a little tube so that I can travel with it. And then the oil-free Mario Vadescu. Here's basically like a tiny sample of it. It's so cold in New York that when I get dressed I have to consider like whether or not I'm gonna be warm when I'm getting up getting dressed to go out so this time i get to throw in the cute little clothes that i want to wear two different concealers i have g6 and glossier and then i also have this travel size nars i do not know the name it looks like it says sucre dorge i do not know but maybe i'll have to see what's hidden for Okay. I should really use a brush instead. Oh wow, I actually like this better than caramel because it's a warm undertone. It has like a warm honey undertone. Wow, I'm gonna have to get the adult size. I'm just gonna put a little more because a little more ain't gonna hurt. I like what it's doing to me right now. Yeah, I like my makeup I really like. I don't like my makeup too heavy. I like it to look nice, clean, but okay. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I cannot talk and do makeup at the same time. Like, even when I would be on set doing people makeup, I really wouldn't talk to them like that. The only person I'd probably chit-chat with is Abby. And if we talking, that's when you know our makeup won't take long to get done. Like, I have to be in pure silence doing makeup. Like, I wish I was that gifted and talented to do a chit chat and do my makeup at the same time. Yeah, I feel like whenever I'm doing makeup, I gotta be quiet and let God take over. Wow, I like this color a lot on me, and I never ever say this about me. I feel like I never was able to find a concealer that was for me without having to like mix a few colors because my skin is so weird. It's like, um, kind of have a warm undertone, kind of don't. So like often when I go to makeup stores, they be passing me off colors that are for like people who have olive skin tones. But then I also have this like warm pinkish tone of skin. Which kind of made me, if I use the wrong colors, I'll turn, I will turn out to look orange because I don't know. This is the first time I'm like using, not having to mix multiple colors. And I'm just like, wow, who am I? Would it be even necessary to use this? Maybe if I'm a highlight, like when I do a little to highlight under my brow. But other than that, I'm not really pressed. I got 21 minutes left to run some memory card. I'm going to be back when I'm a little more done.
on tour stick. I got this travel size Charlotte Tilbury. I hope I'm saying this right. Yeah, Charlotte Tilbury. I have it in travel size. And the color is deep fonts. I hope I'm saying this right as well. And I had to pick up these Sephora brushes. I'm not a fan of how they move, but I'm I do what is this? I'm allergic to something, but I scratch it. Yeah, so I'm gonna contour and I'm gonna start off with the forehead because I definitely gotta keep this contoured. And I'm using a light amount of paper. It says airbrush. So let's see. When I'm doing my makeup, I be having to step back, step forward, step left, step right. I need to make sure I look good on all angles. I think I'm having a reaction to all this kind that's flying around with the roll. I can see it from afar. Am I turning red? Am I having an allergic reaction? That's all right, because I don't really have much cheekbone. And I just like to build off of what I already have. Mm -hmm. Okay, I can see it now. The stuff flying off this robe is, is, is making my allergies act up. Mm -mm. Yes. So I cut my face with the Laura Mercier, the little mini powder that I got. I think it says honey. Yeah, translucent honey. So I set with that and I'm contouring with this. I think when drives me nuts about my face no problem with my face but sometimes it like confuses me is because i have like a um, beauty mark here and a mole here so i just follow those but on this side of my face there's nothing two beauty marks nothing completely different person on one side of my face And bring it up as high as here. So if I take a picture. Okay. Yeah, and then one more brush. Okay. So I am finally finished. Hold on. Let me just make sure the flat iron is off. Finally finished. I did a lip liner, of course, cork, and I'm using Fussy Fenty. Um, I'm gonna make this squeak as possible. Yeah. I have my Indian skirt. And oh, that looks so nice. I wish I had somebody like, take my picture. <laughs> Hair looking. Hair giving. Yo, y'all don't even want to know what it took for me to get into this skirt. Yeah. Alright. See y'all tonight after dinner. Mwah. See me because I can't even see myself. I don't understand what I was saying. Yeah, I can't see me. You guys, this freaking view is amazing, right? The highest I ever been was the 28th floor, like stayed in, but second floor out here.
20 because I was out here when I went and I believe I don't remember what building it was to be honest with you so thankful I'm so grateful I'm so blessed I want to thank God for allowing me these 72 not even a full 72 hours because I've been here for one full day and basically two half a day so two full days I just want to thank God for everything. Honestly, like, I'm used to catching a vacation at least two times a year, minimum, at least. And since my father passed away, my life has been so chaotic, like, whether it's, like, dealing with emotions, dealing with people like mentally physically spiritually i just been going through it on all levels like i don't even know if you guys could see me but it feels so good to finally like get back and do the things that i like doing <sighs> Like, I had the best two days out here. I'm not even going with you. I had the best two days out here by myself, roaming around the city, doing the things that I like and love. Ain't nobody bothering me. It's just me, and I'm vibing by myself. I'm going out to eat by myself. I'm just doing what I do normally when, I, when I'm home, but just being able to do it in another place I love. I like it. Yo, the now that I think about it, when I was on the 42nd floor, I was actually in South Beach when I went. I'm really told you I'm terrified sitting up here. Like, I won't even go to the edge of the balcony. <laughs> I wanted to take a nice, cute, little scenic picture. <laughs> I'm like, no, I'm not doing it. <laughs> no, maybe if somebody else was here with me, I would do it, but I'm by myself. So I'm just like, hell no. But I'm not going to hold you guys. One thing I got to... Let me pause because I'm about to make three different thoughts. I'm also learning to take the good with the bad because... I don't think I would be me right now, right here at this very moment, if I didn't experience the things that I experienced. So that's why I'm thankful and I'm grateful. Whew. I've experienced a lot in just a few hours and I've learned a lot in just a few hours and I learned a lot about myself being by myself just for these two whole days i hate to sound conceited or the problem but just a quick sidebar when i was in therapy and i would be explaining to my therapist about what i'm going through and like the things that are happening to me happening for me you know what she said to me she said you're not the problem <laughs> it's not funny but the things that I was going through and the situations I was going through, whether it be people, life, da da da, anything. No, not to sound like I'm not taking accountability because I wouldn't be taking accountability if I didn't take the initiative to go seek professional help and consult with somebody regarding life, you know? So I think this trip just showed me that I'm whole, I'm me, y'all like myself a lot, and I fuck with myself OD, like, I went out, I had a blast, I made it happen, I enjoyed my own com company, I've been chilling, I've just been really vibing, so, that's, that's, that's where I'm at, that's where I'm at tonight, sometimes you go through uh, learning to stop cussing sometimes you go through things and let me get let me finish i got five minutes left on this so let me come in here and talk to y'all oh my god that seat was wet oh my god my butt is wet ain't no way my whole butt is wet oh my goodness sometimes you go through life I can't even remember what I was saying. I made it OD because it was 
pouring raining outside why bro 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 yeah sometimes you go through life don't let life ruin you don't let life ruin you take a break take a step back get your mind right get your energy right and all that if you want to start right now just know you're gonna be good you're gonna be good i'm starting to crease but it's okay because you are going through hardships in life right now just know that everything will get better i promise you because even when the worst was happening to me the worst and it was nothing i could do i couldn't escape i couldn't disappear i had to just sit and deal with life i feel like it's a little dust in my nose right now because i said i'm not gonna be by myself friday i just want to enjoy right now because i'm by myself and i kind of want to cry because i don't want to go home <laughs> i do want to go home but i'm gonna cry baby Ah, uh, <laughs> come on, stop. Not me crying on camera while talking to myself. I'm so embarrassed. My nose is red before I started tearing up. I kind of don't want to go back home because I feel like I'm not going to be myself anymore. Like, I'm going to be the stressed out Kiana dealing with everyone's problems. And I don't want that experience, peace, and happiness from being by myself. But I ain't even gonna hold you guys before I start crying again. <laughs> I'll tell you guys good night and I appreciate you guys for watching my vlog. I appreciate all the love and support that I'm getting. I'm sorry I'm being a crybaby right now. I'm sorry y'all, I just had so much fun by myself. I was missing my flight today. I look good even though I feel shitty. I just got back out this way. You already got plans for the city. Call